Language Foundations Vocabulary Flashcards, helping you achieve understanding. Capable of being molded or modeled, especially of earth or clay or other soft material. Plastic substances such as wax or clay. A card, usually plastic, that assures a seller that the person using it has a satisfactory credit rating and that the issuer will see to it that the seller receives payment for the merchandise delivered. Do you take plastic? Capable of being influenced or formed. The plastic minds of children. Forming or capable of forming or molding or fashioning. The plastic forces of nature. Generic name for certain synthetic or semi-synthetic materials that can be molded or extruded into objects or films or filaments are used for making e.g. coatings and adhesives. Capable of being molded or modeled, especially of earth or clay or other soft material. Susceptible to being led or directed. Fictile masses of people ripe for propaganda. Of or relating to the craft of pottery. The fictile art. Capable of being molded or modeled, especially of earth or clay or other soft material. A card, usually plastic, that assures a seller that the person using it has a satisfactory credit rating and that the issuer will see to it that the seller receives payment for the merchandise delivered. A card, usually plastic, that assures a seller that the person using it has a satisfactory credit rating and that the issuer will see to it that the seller receives payment for the merchandise delivered. A card, usually plastic, that assures a seller that the person using it has a satisfactory credit rating and that the issuer will see to it that the seller receives payment for the merchandise delivered. Able to adjust readily to different conditions. Capable of being shaped or bent or drawn out. Pliant molten glass. Capable of being bent or flexed or twisted without breaking. A pliant young tree. Capable of being influenced or formed. A pliant nature. Forming or capable of forming or molding or fashioning. A formative influence. Capable of forming new cells and tissues. A formative zone in developing bone. Minimal language unit that has a syntactic, or morphological, function. Any process serving to define the shape of something. The act of fabricating something in a particular shape. Forming or capable of forming or molding or fashioning. Able to adjust readily to different conditions. An elastic clause in a contract. A narrow band of elastic rubber used to hold things, such as papers, together. A fabric made of yarns containing an elastic material. Capable of resuming original shape after stretching or compression, springy. An elastic band. Easily impressed or influenced. Easily impressed or influenced. A waxy mind. Made of or covered with wax. Careful, the floor is waxy. Capable of being bent or flexed or twisted without breaking. Having the paleness of wax. A thin face with a waxy paleness. Easily impressed or influenced. An impressionable youngster. Constructing or tending to construct or improve or promote development. Constructive criticism. Emphasizing what is laudable or hopeful or to the good. Constructive criticism. Evidence proving that you are who you say you are. Evidence establishing that you are among the group of people already known to the system. Recognition by the system leads to acceptance.
A system for positive identification can prevent the use of a single identity by several people. A consumer credit line that can be used up to a certain limit or paid down at any time. A consumer credit line that can be used up to a certain limit or paid down at any time. A consumer credit line that can be used up to a certain limit or paid down at any time. The state in which a substance has no tendency to flow under moderate stress. Resists forces, such as compression, that tend to deform it, and retains a definite size and shape. Providing abundant nourishment. Good solid food. Of good quality and condition. Solidly built. A solid foundation. Acting together as a single undiversified whole. A solid voting block. Of the same color throughout. Solid color. Meriting respect or esteem. Not soft or yielding to pressure. Solid ground. A three-dimensional shape. Characterized by good substantial quality. Solid comfort. Entirely of one substance with no holes inside. A solid block of wood. Financially sound. The bank is solid and will survive this attack. Having three dimensions. A cube as a solid figure with six sides. Impenetrable for the eye. Solid blackness. Matter that is solid at room temperature and pressure. Of a substantial character and not frivolous or superficial. Work of solid scholarship. Of definite shape and volume. Firm. Neither liquid nor gaseous. Ice is water in the solid state. Of one substance or character throughout. Solid gold. Uninterrupted in space. Having no gaps or breaks. A solid line across the page. A credit card that entitles the holder to receive cash. A credit card issued by a bank. A printed or written greeting that is left to indicate that you have visited. A card that is used instead of cash to make telephone calls. A distinguishing characteristic or behavior. Bombs are a terrorist's calling cards. A card that is used instead of cash to make telephone calls. A credit card that entitles the holder to receive cash. A material used to coat cooking utensils and in industrial applications where sticking is to be avoided. A polymer of vinyl formaldehyde. A plastic containing resins. A polymeric silicone compound. A material used to coat cooking utensils and in industrial applications where sticking is to be avoided. A material that softens when heated and hardens again when cooled. Having the property of softening or fusing when heated and of hardening and becoming rigid again when cooled. Thermoplastic materials can be remelted and cooled time after time without undergoing any appreciable chemical change. A material that softens when heated and hardens again when cooled. Become our student and get access to effective and free educational materials. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to become a part of our growing YouTube community and to learn English effectively.